and it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. My iPad keeps going. <laughs> my stand. Okay. Update on my sweater. I had to rip it apart. Yes, I made a few mistakes. Anyways, I had to frog the arms and do a different bind off because this did not, it would not stretch. It didn't really block. It was because of the bind off. And watched a few videos, figured it out. So I frogged the arms a little bit. The sleeves, not the arms, the sleeves. And kind of readjusted them, okay? And so they're a little bit wider. I put the sweater on and it would not go. I couldn't get my arms in the shoulder part. Yeah, it was a little small. So, anyways, and I found out I'm supposed to block after I get it together. <laughs> so, what I'm having to do is remove the bind off, cast on, and then do its knit, knit, and then then you put your your left needle under the two stitches, and it, it and you pull through two stitches. The two that you just knitted on. I'll show you when I, I just, um, and then the back panel, um, this right here, it's not stretchy. So I got to get rid of this and I have to knit seven more rows after I get that bind off. That's a bind off. And I, I knitted over it thinking it would be okay. So I've learned a lot from this project. I'm getting good at this. <laughs> uh, but I tell you what, I'm learning. I learned from the School of Hard Knocks. That's where I came from. Yeah. I won't forget. <laughs> All right. Yep. But anyways, yesterday I was taking it apart and yesterday evening, was it yesterday evening? I kind of put this down because I had other things going on. And, um, yeah, it was last night. I snipped something accidentally. Yep. And I was like praying I didn't snip the wrong thing, and I did. <laughs> oh, tell me, you've never done that. Oh. But, anyways, so I'm going to remove seven rows and this bind off and knit seven rows and do kind of a stretchy bind off. I think if I um, if I ever duplicate this sweater, I'll make it a little bit baggier. I mean, I don't really care if, if it doesn't fit me all that. I just want to be able to somewhat get it on, you know, so I can show you all what I made. Okay, somebody asked me if I could put the camera where they could see what I'm doing. So, I think that's it. Okay, right now I'm frogging. <laughs> Want to watch that? Some people say this is very therapeutic. <laughs> it's not to me. Especially when it's wool that keeps getting hung up on itself. Okay, this is the last time I'm tearing this bad boy apart.
Uh, got some fibers that are I'm gonna have to pull apart there. Okay. I hate when that happens. <laughs> All right, she's watching us. Hey, woo woo. We just got locked out of the main part of the house, didn't we? All right. I bet. I dropped a couple stitches. See, I dropped that stitch right there. So I'm gonna, because I'm on the knit side, I can go in the front, grab, wonder, hold on a second. I wonder if I do it from facing, if you guys can see it better this way. A left-hander would have, would do great this way, I know. All right, so this is the knit side. This is the stitch I dropped. This is the stitch it goes in that it came out of. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna grab this. See, I'm in the hole, grab this yarn and I'm pull it through, see? And, and I'm putting all of these back on the needle. Now, if it was a thinner yarn, it would really fall apart. I'm just really lucky that it doesn't fall apart. Alrighty. Oh, I dropped another stitch. You can just pull it through like this. Did you see what I just did? <laughs> I cheated a little. When you do that, it pulls the other stitches, so you want to kind of be careful. You guys want to know how my tutorial's going? It's not because I have to keep tearing this sweater apart. Nothing's going to really get done until I get this done. Oop. Yeah, when you knit, you got to have a crochet hook with you too. <laughs> Especially if you're frogging. What's the matter, Maverick? He just perked up like he heard some. Do you hear the refrigerator opening? It's about that time. Feeding time. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay. There we go. They can't stand it when Tim closes that door and locks them out of the main part of the house. 
She want to get in the house, Mammy? Hold on. What? I'm almost done here. I need to just turn the camera down. Yeah. Another thing I can do is I can just, I can knit the rest on here. Mock by yet. Push it open, Archie. Archie usually can get it pushed open. Okay, got it back on. I got it back on its needles. Yay! Okay, let me um, let the dogs in the main part of the house. They only want to go in because Tim closed the door. <laughs> they're free. They're gonna, they get FOMO. Dogs have <coughs> FOMO. Dogs have fear of missing out. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Yep. Okay. So I got to do seven rows. So I'm going to put a stitch marker on this row so I can keep track of how many rows I've got.
Huh? Do you want some attention? No, there's nothing up here. Whew, we should stop yawning. We gotta stop yawning. No, you can't have that. That's my gum. That's my gum. That's not yours. That's mine. You see that face? You see that face? You see the little gray hairs he's getting? You getting gray hairs on your mustache? Huh? It's so pretty. Let me. My couch is a mess. My cushions are cockeyed. And I got the sheet that goes right there in the washing machine. I needed something to wash with something else. I didn't have a big enough lid, so I took a sheet off the couch. But that other one's also hairy. Somebody shooting her coat. I think it's Zeus. He's going to get shaved when she comes. Oh, she might be coming tomorrow. I cannot believe tomorrow is Friday, y'all.
y'all, I like to watch that um, show, The uh, the Crown. Just some news that has to sit here and the Queen Row. We're almost there. And then I got two panels, two front panels. I want to um, redo the cast off just to make it a little bit I don't know I just was so disappointed with the sleeves sewn the sleeves three times <laughs> but I'm learning look at how smooth that's that seam it may not be the perfect seam but it's flat and smooth it's not and it's flat and smooth kind of in here well sort of 
kind of sort of. Wonder why. Oh, that's not the sleeve. Well, yeah, it is. Wait a minute. Um. It's not the sleeve that I see here. It's the the cardigan. It's the cardigan. It's not the sleeve. Okay. You know what I mean? It's the back panel. Whew. But anyways, um, I mean, knitting, sewing knit together, I believe, is a lot different than sewing crochet together. You know? Um, anyways. That is becoming my personal experience and I'm a little picky about how how the seams look. I don't want them to look overly bulky even though I got bulky yarn. But you know what I mean. Jelly bean. Oops. Okay. What did I do? But I've almost got the sleeves on and then all I gotta do is seam them up. Um, and then the truth will, the truth will come out. Y'all, I have a yarn haul to share with you guys. I, I mean, I took you guys to Joanne's and Michael's with me, and you did see that cart full of, of yarn, right? That is, I just couldn't pass it up. I skipped Hobby Lobby this year. <laughs> well, they're dye lot sale anyways. But, I've gotten rid of quite a bit of that yarn um yeah oh come on 